Knowledge is stronger than belief. Hey guys, Society Reviews here with my review of the film The Book of Clarence. Several months ago, Jay-Z teamed up with the Harder They Fall director, James Samuel, for a project that looked every bit as racially divisive as it is blasphemous. Most of the people watching this have probably never heard of the 5% Nation of Islam or the Nation of Islam itself. While you should consider that a good thing, the reality is that ideology is responsible for the overwhelming majority of racial division in the United States of America today. Imagine growing up and believing that Christianity is the religion of the white man, aka the slave owner. Owner. This will lead to some jaded and hateful feelings about Jesus Christ as a savior of the world. Now imagine adding those jaded feelings to ridiculous beliefs such as God being a black man, the black man being God, and white people being the devilish offspring of a failed black scientist. Now imagine Sony Pictures giving those racist beliefs a $40 million budget and this is how we got the Book of Clarence. Set in an alternate version of Jerusalem in 33 AD, where the overwhelming majority of the nation is black, film is centered around a weed smoking drug dealer slash scammer named Clarence who is desperate for money to pay off his debts. One day, Clarence is in the presence of a figure in the region known as Jesus Christ. Instead of being humble in the presence of his Messiah, Clarence grows jealous of his power, and as a result of his jealousy and unbelief, he decides to create a scam where he tells people he is the true Messiah in order to give people to give him money to get his way out of the trouble. Clarence is committed to this scam until the people around him start suffering the consequences for his actions. It is very easy for a naive believer to think that this film has anything to do with biblical Christianity, and those people will be wrong. The Book of Clarence is a blasphemous film that holds nothing but contempt for the true believers of the Christian religion. If you're ignorant to key elements of the Christian doctrine, then you probably won't notice heresy such as denying the marriage of Mary and Joseph, changing the origin of Jezebel, and of course denying the Trinity altogether. This film amplifies the voices of organizations driving racial division in America right now such as Black Lives Matter. While going out of their way to portray the nation of Israel as a black nation, the writers were subversive enough to keep the Romans in this period as the white man to portray the narrative of victim and oppressor that we see so many black Americans fall for to this day. The name Clarence comes from the founder of the 5% Nation of Islam who was a cult leader in Harlem, New York. Clarence taught heresy such as the black man being God and knowledge being more important than faith. Jay-Z, one of the producers of this film, has long been associated with this cult religion and expounds a lot of those teachings of that cult into this movie. This is a film that seeks to take a baseball bat to the traditional beliefs of Christianity under the guise that it's white people who have corrupted history and writings of the Bible. The film goes full-fledged blasphemy in the third act by tearing down who the filmmakers believe is the white Jesus and replacing him with the prophet known as Clarence to the point where it denies the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ himself. In reality, there's no way you could take a heretic seriously, especially one who tries to speak on biblical truth, when deep in their heart they know that they have nothing but hatred and contempt for their fellow man, a mindset that is completely antithetical to the teachings of Christ. But as a wise man once said, God will not be mocked. And it's pretty fitting that a film with a $40 million budget could even get $3 million at the box office in a four-day weekend. The Book of Clarence is a film that is going to be applauded by people who hate what the Bible has to say. And that's pretty much to tell you all you need to know about this film and who it's pandering to. I give this film a 0 out of 5. I am your new messiah. Just for my swine! Ah, stop that!